Right, this is uh, a quick demo of the new uh, iOS Orbiter which has the dynamic layer implemented that we've been talking about for a little while on the forums and um, my colleague Radu, um, some of you know his uplink, finished uh, this version earlier tonight and we thought we'd give you a little demo of it. So this is running on a real iPad 1 um, uh, this time, not on the simulator and um, uh, it's still a little bit alpha, so there's uh, a little bit, um, a few rough edges here and there, but, but it's basically working pretty nicely. So well, let's launch the app. So we've got the app in the bar there. App comes up, goes straight into the home screen. This is our um, what we call the Redline UI, um, which you get with a Dynamo system. Um, across the bottom, we've got the bar, which some of you may have seen if you've downloaded the current application in the um, in the App Store. Um, we can hide that bar by just stroking down. I won't go through the bar and what it does, but um, I might make another video about that another time. But um, we're going to go straight into the new features, the dynamic features of the, of the new app. So normally if I was going to browse some media um, with, with the standard app, I'd um, browse either video or audio and um, we get a screen which is pretty static but with this version things are a little bit different so let's go into the audio browser and there we go so now we've got an open screen we've got some cover art on the left and we've got the track names on the right but the big difference is i can dynamically scroll that list up and down and just like any other iphone app it has inertia in the scrolling and you'll see the cover art is pulled in dynamically as we scroll. And we can scroll way down the library here really quickly. And as soon as the start stops scrolling, the um, cover art comes in. If we touch an album, um, we can go and drill down into the album and that will pull in the, the uh, details of that album. These are all the tracks. This, this album is a multi artist track, so it's a multi artist CD. So it's got lots of different artists in each of the cover art. Um, each cover art is different because there's different artists on the disc. Again, we can scroll it. Up and down. And we can play it. Play a track. So let's play this track. Uh, we'll play it on there. And um, put the remote up. There we go. The track's playing now. Um, I've got the volume turned down so we can't hear it. But you'll notice here this, this list here, which is the um, metadata for about this particular album, um, normally doesn't scroll. Uh, this one does. I can sort by, by one of those um, attributes. Um, I'll go to a different album. Uh, I'll go back out of this album. Let's go back to the layer. Find another album. We'll go a little bit. Um, try on there. Or the track, I should say. Um, here we go. Let's see. Let's see the metadata again. You see that scrolls as well. Um, to a playlist. Uh, well, I've got to put something in the playlist first, I think. Um, so let's back in. Um, Some video. Okay, we've got some library here with some cover art. Here we go. So there's some cover art. And cover art up. Yeah. Oh, 
bit of metadata here, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and you can see that it's quite a lot of metadata. I'm going to say I've run. And let's find. Um, uh, we'll find some other comedy. Cool, cool, nice. Um, comedy. Okay. Comedies is not going to find other comedies. Um, in the list here. So wherever you've got a scrollable grid, or a grid that you page through in the traditional um, orbiter, this version will draw those or those those uh, grids dynamically. Um, so uh, another area would be. Uh, media floor plan. This grid here. This is probably the end of the media plan, I remember that's scrolling. Um, out. Floor plan again. Then you go to um, telephony. Scroll the goods here. So basically, anywhere you would normally get a static grid um, with up and down arrows on the right hand side, then you're going to get a dynamic grid now, and it'll work much more like a, a, a mainstream touch based application on, say, Android or um, iOS with normal work. So that's dy the dynamic layer and new iOS orbiter. Um, the source code for this should be released in the next 10 days or so and this version will be up in the Apple Store probably in the next 2 or 3 weeks. We've probably got a little bit more work to polish it a little bit before we release it. Um, but it will be free download when we do and um, I hope you like it. Bye.